Yo, what is up, guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome to another video. We have the season finale of a CWL going on right now. It's the War of the Week. WHF versus Fake Wargasm. Fake Wargasm's only lost one time this season. We're going to look in on their 10v11 progress today. Before we do... I've got to get some token attacks in. Rumor has it there's some Halloween troops. And I've loaded up my, my camps here. I've got some giant skeletons, it looks like. And I've got some some pumpkins. I've got some pumpkins. If you guys uh, haven't seen my pumpkins that I carved on, I put them on social media. I put them on the screen right now. Yeah, pumpkins. All right, so let's do an attack. I want to see if these guys actually suck again. Or if they're any good. I don't know. I'm probably a couple days late on the new troops. I honestly don't get too excited anymore about them. Tell, I mean, am I, am I wrong? Like, do you guys get pumped up for the seasonal troops? Because, like, every time they come out, they seem to either forget to scale them to the proper level or they're just so underwhelming that it's just like, why? Like, why? You know? So, I don't know. I'm hopeful that, like, this giant skeleton, you know, he dies, he drops his bomb, and the whole base blows up or something crazy. Like, it, all the bombs, like, roll their way into the town hall, and boom. All right. I've got uh, a, a pretty pretty bad army composition from what it looks like here, and my goal is to get a two-star. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to go with this multi-inferno here. I don't, I don't think a two-star is possible. <laughs> I really, I really don't. <laughs> Uh, but dang it, let's try. Why not? So here's what we're going to do. Let's go on the corners. We'll go giant skelly and a wizard or two in behind them. All right. So now we're going to drop this lava hound because that makes sense. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to drop a lava hound in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So here we go. This is, this is, uh. This is real life right now, guys. So I'm going to go with an early freeze. And we are going to rage everything in. This is dope. So good. So good right now, guys. Go here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Is this actually working? We're going to get this heal spell down in the core. Oh, oh my goodness. Are we going to get to... No way. This is not really a thing. Is it a thing? I think this is a thing, guys. I think we're going to get to this town hall, no problem. So I'm just going to trickle in some stuff from the outside right here and see what we can do. Are we going to get to two-star? you got to be kidding me right now. Is this really a thing? No way. So I may be able... So these pumpkins uh, are actually... Wow, they're getting a lot farther than I thought they would, to be honest with you. So I just need one more hit here on this builder hut. Not going to get it. That's all right, though. Hey, not bad. Not bad. And I forgot a rage spell. That's the theme of the day right now, guys. And I'm just going to stay here and let this Grand Warden get some work done on the Dark Elixir storage. This dude's watching me right now take his storage with just my Warden, and he's like, man, that's messed up. So anyways, uh... I am not thoroughly disappointed with this army composition. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to do one more before I peek in on the war. That was honestly kind of fun. I want to I want to zoom in on the uh, the giant skellies this time and figure out like exactly how hard they're hitting. So holy cow! Let's see if we can beat this performance. This actually wasn't too bad. And you know what? I'll use all of my spells next time. Man, these clouds though! Holy crap! All right, so we got a base here. I am going to remember to use all of my spells this time. Cross my fingers. I can't promise that, but I'm going to try. Let's see here. Where do we want to go from? Let's go from the bottom because the queen and the town hall and all that is available. Yeah, I mean, that's the right play, I think. We got to try to create a funnel here and just overwhelm with, uh, I don't know what I have in the CC. That's the big surprise right now. So I'm going to send this and I'll send in that and that behind Unfortunately, whatever. Let's just send in, oh, hey, some Valkyries. Perfect. Because that's totally what I wanted to see. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to send in one more giant skeleton, and we're just going to send in all of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blow up the corner there. Nice. Okay, cool. So we are actually looking okay right now, and I'm going to send in basically everything so that is the goal I'm gonna send in all kinds of stuff down here we're gonna go to the core all right 
I need a two finger. Uh oh, I need a two finger drop. I'm way late right now. This is bad. This is bad. So yeah, let's try to get everything in here. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. They gave me a heal. Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. This sucks, dude. Oh no, I thought I had another rage spell, but I do not. So I'm just gonna get the star, man, to finish up the star bonus. Oh, that's such a bummer. I thought I had another rage, but you know, what can you do? Okay, so we're gonna distract up here with a few. We'll go here for a few. And I'm gonna heal up these uh, these pumpkins. I don't think we have a shot for 50% here, but dude, they couldn't even get an army camp up there? I dropped quite a few of them there too. Okay, so not super strong. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a little bit different than the first raid. You know, kind of about what I expected, honestly. Like, not too shabby though. Overall assessment on these holiday troops, we've got the giant skeleton, we've got the barbs, not thoroughly disappointed, but also not super stoked either. But the thing is, you don't want to introduce something that's too strong to the game because, you know, we are in a CWL war right now. So uh, we've got Golly's Cat in line. Let's go see if we're in a good point to watch this battle. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty good point to watch the battle. Golly's Cat getting it done again, dude. Little, little, little love for Golly's Cat. We're going to watch some 10v11 today, and this is actually faked Wargasm hitting us. That's something that I don't always show on the channel, but I figured I wanted to mix it up a little bit. I've shown Town Hall 9 stuff and Town Hall 10 stuff recently, but not much of the Town Hall 11 stuff lately. So let's go ahead and watch Thomas here. We're going to watch uh, the, the pros over at uh, Fake Wargasm. Shout out to you guys. Going one loss so far this season. Really solid clan, and they are looking to do work. So Dragons is the name of the game here. He gets a king and queen in. The goal here is to break off a nice funnel to help these dragons ultimately get straight to the town hall. So king does go in, gets one swipe off on the queen. No, he swung twice, but he didn't hit the queen. I wonder if he was distracted with skellies or what the deal was. So it looks like the queen actually is going to survive, but luckily he's bringing dragons this attack, you know, luckily for him anyways, because the dragons don't care. They're, they can absorb a few shots from the queen. So you're going to see another funnel get broke off, probably top left here, of hay spell down. I assume the balloons are going to come in with a hound to cover the air defenses. So here we go. First drops. Now the archer tower is down. Clone spell. Interesting clone. Wow, okay, okay, so he gets the eagle, and look at the funnel that he's actually creating, getting all of this stuff destroyed, and now it's up for the dragons to get to the town hall. They are going to have to go through the queen and kind of through this whole wedge um, to get to that town hall. They have a ways to go, but they have two rage spells to kind of propel them through the difficult parts. Difficult parts being the queen who will distract them, and also the two expos there guarding the town hall. So that is where you're going to see these rage spells come down. Another one probably uh, right over the inferno tower to help them get to that uh, town hall and take it out. So queen is down at this point. Everything's kind of working its way in. He's got to catch these dragons up and get them to the town hall. Next rage spell should come down here as soon as they go to the queen platform. Boom, there they go. Here's the rage. And now we've got two dragons on that town hall. One of them gets hit with a seeking air mine. But look at this, that last dragon just enough. One dragon inside of a rage, and that is enough to take out uh, the town hall as this, uh, this, this multi-target inferno is not going to do anything. So beautiful attack there from Thomas. Uh, the rest of it, you know, he's about capped out there on damage to 59%. Not too shabby at all. Let's go ahead and look at, uh, is this Tyra Banks? Bro, sweet name. All right, cool. So we've got the uh, the Lalo coming on this one. This is interesting. He comes in with two early hay spells, and you're going to see hounds coming from the side of the air defenses, and then loons in behind, another hound, and probably some more loons to uh, target. Oh, my gosh. Quad hound? I love it. So many hounds. So kind of opening up everything, double freeze over the core. My goodness, this is a very innovative strategy. Haven't seen anything like this at Town Hall 11 in quite some time. And those loons have worked their way through the core. Very, very nice work. It would be really nice for him if he could get that eagle taken care of. It just doesn't look like it's in the cards for him. So uh, it's all about trying to take out the Town Hall at this point. 
and those minions are going to be in a good position to get some damage here, but he's kind of got to watch it and monitor it to see if that actually is enough, because he still has both heroes and a miner. So, luckily, the eagle starts, of course, wouldn't it always start on the uh, far side here? It's only going to target one minion. Uh, the rest are going to survive, and that is going to be long enough for them to take out this town hall, and wow, wow, wow. So, nice work on that. We got the king up top, wall breakers in to kind of hopefully get him into the base to do some damage. Damage. Here we go. Ability used. He goes inside, gets the barracks. Now it's time for the cannon. We've got the queen over on the right side, and she is going to get some damage done here as well. This was an impressive raid, to say the least. Those minions in the core are still pushing strong, and they are going to get all the way into the eagle. Holy cow, what a push here from those minions. They will get it taken care of, and the queen still pushing on the outside of this base. Now, the eagle did lock onto her at the very last second there, and and now the Hound is going to be coming over to, to lock onto this Queen. And at this point, the attack is over. The Hound is going to go ahead and uh, thwart any further efforts. But the, the Pups here, still getting the Bomb Tower? It looks like no. Almost got the Bomb Tower. Very, very nice attack here um, from... I'm going to call him Tyra Banks, because why not? Tyra Banks, nice work. All right, so great attacks through the air so far uh, from the fake orgasm guys. This is Felix with the 53%. Another air-based uh, hybrid strategy on this one, 12 bowlers as well. And normally when you see bowlers like this behind a, a few golems, we've got probably one in the clan castle as well. You got golems in the corner uh, with a few bowlers to kind of break off the funnel of both defense ring and trash buildings. And we got to get everything uh, to flow to the core. So we'll watch and see how this develops here from Felix. Starts off with a baby dragon in the corner. Gets great value there. Does eat the uh, the archer tower, but tanks it long enough to get three buildings destroyed. Uh, beautifully done. Now a whole bunch of balloons come in, and will he rage? Yes, he does. He gets the archer tower here. He's going to get the cannon, and it looks like possibly the air defense as well. So they, uh, wow, they do get in there. They almost get the air defense. It. Oh my gosh, it's so close to going down, but not quite. That sweeper did save the day. That brand new, look at that, level 7 sweeper? That red tip on it and the spikes, good stuff. Couple hog riders there into trail, and they don't get it either. They did get one shot off on the air defense. Uh, so, at this point, he's just going to be like, all right, we're going to try to get in and get the rest of this thing taken out. Now, the air defense he wanted to take down, I believe he wanted to drop like a baby dragon over in the corner. And try for the archers over in another spot of the base for some uh, some free percent, basically. But looking good so far. I'm wondering where he's going to hit the town hall from. Probably from this bottom uh, right side, maybe. He's got to do some work here with the bowlers and the golems. So we'll kind of fast forward through this archer stuff. Here comes the first one. Here comes the second one. They go right at the storages. So a lot of HP there to work through. And you're going to see the bowlers as well as the queen. He waits a little bit on those bowlers, making sure it's uh, they're standing back from the golem. And here it is. Rage spell. And this is where everything should start to just kind of fall. Uh, we do have Lava Loon coming out of the CC. Another rage for those bowlers. And here comes uh, the push to the town hall. Now that that is the question. Will they be able to get there without the Hound distracting the Queen and taking her for a walk? It does look like they've distracted her, but she does take it out. She's still standing in the rage, so she works through it pretty quickly. And the enemy Queen here is going to stay alive, but check this out. Friendly Queen staying alive. Now, this one does have a little bit of a, a luck component to it, but as you can see, still has the uh, baby dragon in the camp, so he holds on to it. Make sure that the queen wraps up uh, the town hall here, and then as she does, now it's time to send in the baby dragon from the top. Four percentage. We got the two-star locked up, so nice work to fake Wargasm there picking up another one. 58% here. 58%. Another hybrid Lalo. Not, not a Lalo strategy, but, you know, hybrid loons, basically. We got Valks and and golems in this one. No bowlers, it looks like, but loons in the corners. Gonna ignore all of those cannons, basically. And then he does get the archer towers in the corner. Will he get anything else is the question. Doesn't look like it. Gets one bomb drop off the cannon down there, and here we go. So another group of balloons goes in, and he breaks off the funnel there. That It doesn't look like that got a lot of value, guys, uh, but being able to take down that bomb tower in the corner is pretty crucial for getting your Valkyries to go to the core. Uh, it looks like he's going to use the Valks for the core dive, uh, jumping over the clan castle compartment to the town hall. That looks like it's going to be the goal, and uh, he doesn't want those Valks to run and jump around the outside there, um, up 
by this gold storage up here. You see how the uh, the buildings would have kind of drugged them around there. Now he can avoid that with a jump spell. So you're going to see a double jump spell come down, probably uh, King Platform-ish area and the CC uh, after some percentage has been taken out and some more funneling has been done. So here comes a giant. Going to distract the mortar for a minute. Queen to take out the, uh, the cannon and the bomb tower here on this side. And that is pretty crucial. I was wondering how he was going to deal with this side as far as creating that funnel because this is it's very important for your town hall 10 versus 11 pushes to the core here's the ability steps up gets the bomb tower and now the valkyries can come down behind the golem and they basically just work outside in here's the rage spell the jump the jump spell is down on the king platform and here's the second one coming out any moment it's going to be on the clan castle boom right there that way it does not bleed into any other compartments he has the percentage that he needs to get the job done last rage spell used to get those Valkyries through the clan castle to the core. Will they have enough for the town hall? Yes, they do. No problem. They work through the wall as well. Very nice work. Those Valkyries are pretty strong now, guys. Um... I'm telling you what, even on 11s, man, they seem like they're hitting pretty hard these days. They might be a little bit forgotten as far as their effectiveness. They just haven't been used in the meta in so long. The Tyrant Banks here getting it done. Very nice work to Vagor, guys, on this one. So another two-star picked up, guys. Uh, the war right now is a little bit lopsided, but I guarantee you we will come back make a war out of it. Um, either way, it looks like both teams uh, poised to do things in the postseason. I'm pretty sure WHF needs to win this one. Uh, we are currently... Seven and three? Seven and three? I think we're seven and three. Yeah. Something like that. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been Power Bang. I will be back in the near future with another episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the Clash content and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. <sighs> what do you guys think about those pumpkins and those giant skellies? Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Power Bang, signing out.